Hey awesome people YouTube welcome back to another video in this one we're going to be talking about Space Marine 2 the recently came out game called Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 and we're going to be talking about how I feel about it and good things that I think about it and the bad things but before we get started I just want to say if you enjoyed this type of content do let me know by leaving a like comment and especially subscribing it helps tremendously we also do stream every single day from around 4 p.m. Eastern, sometimes a little bit late, but usually a little bit early. And last but not least, we do have our own Discord. You can join that and check out our Twitch with both links down in the description. But with that said, let's talk about Warhammer 40k. Well, the Space Marine 2 is made by Saber, so if you played World War Z, you'll notice some similar aspects, like the Horde. Or the Terran Horde coming in, it is pretty similar, especially during one of the operations or when they climb. It has World War Z feel to it. But the game looks amazing. The campaign might feel like it is short, it is only, I believe, six missions, but it takes about an hour to do each mission, sometimes a little more. And if you explore and look for a little different things, like data slates for a little bit back, uh, like side stories, it would take you overall probably eight to ten hours, and that's pretty worth it, right? But the game also has PVE options called operations and PVP, multiple uh, scenario, not scenarios, multiple different types, you know, like deathmatch, capture the flag, stuff like that, and. I have not yet tried it out, but from what I've seen and heard from my friends, it is pretty fun. It can be frustrating because there are some classes that might not be as balanced, but, you know, this game I don't think was made fully into PvP, which will take them probably a little bit of time to balance the PvP and keep the PvE similar. But there are certain things that I don't enjoy as much. For example, in a campaign, when you get a jetpack, it feels amazing. You go high in the air, you can shoot your gun, you have decent amount of range with your ground slam. But in operations, it does not feel as good. You play as assault with that, and you only have a pistol. You don't have a primary weapon, which sometimes feels not as fun because that class, you need to be aware of a lot of things. And you need to just position yourself so it doesn't feel as fleshed out. And it feels like it would take a lot of time to get semi-good or possibly good. Versus like other classes like Heavy or Bulwark or even Vanguard that are a lot more fun. Especially Vanguard is a lot of fun pretty much almost right away once you get the proper weapons set up it feels awesome you're able to close distance on elites or like the warriors on the big enemies and just go to town on them eliminate them especially with tyranids and just have the small minions just fall apart right while with chaos it might be a little different but it's still similar or heavy where you just pure walking death machine you don't have any melee but you just shoot the biggest guns right or bulwark where you are a pretty much a semi support kind of tank with pistol and a uh, melee weapon but you are pretty tanky you have the support capability by throwing your flag on the ground and pretty much giving your teammates continuous armor that regenerates Right? But then there's other class, like a sniper, that you are primarily for eliminating the big targets. Pretty much just what a sniper is, you know. You don't worry about the small things, you worry about the big enemies. Right? Each class does its own thing decently well. Most classes do it good, except for soul. but, you know, I would love to play a soul, but just not as good as other ones. Right? And operations we talk about are only six just like the story missions and it can be repetitive but if you do with friends through each difficulty that you need to do in order to get your weapon maxed out it will like i said feel repetitive but it will make it harder with each one right 
And if you're trying to do different class each time, you know, or level the classes through this way, it will take a lot longer than PvP. But if you primarily into PvE, that is the biggest way. But you cannot have two of the same classes in operation. So you can't have two snipers or all three bulwarks. You have to be, for example, one bulwark, one heavy, one vanguard, or a sniper, a soul, uh, tactical, right? It has to be separate. Uh, while in PvP, it doesn't matter. I think you can have two of each. I'm not sure. Again, I haven't played. But the customization of the game is really amazing. During a campaign, you can't really customize because you're playing as the main character and two of his squad mates if, you have, if your buddy join you. But in operations, you can pretty much customize your Space Marine pretty well with different color armors and insignia from different chapters, you know, from the first founding and the successor chapters, right? And if you purchase the Space pa uh, Space Pass Season Pass, which you don't have to, you'll get more cosmetics, which is a cool thing because you don't need the Season Pass. The only thing it gives you is literally just more customization options. That's it. Just more colors, more insignia, that's it. In PvP, you can customize your Heretic Space Marine or your Chaos Space Marine. It's not as cool, it doesn't have as much customization, but it's still really nice that they allow us. And I know that they're working with limitations, which sucks, but you know, it is what it is. But I looked at the ma roadmap that they have and it looks really nice. Later this month, they're adding PvE private lobbies, unless they already did. I'm not too sure. And a few other cool things. Next season, which from what I understand is next month, or starting next month, we're going to have a new PvE missions, or maybe just the operations map, more cool stuff, customization and stuff. And they're going to be adding, they have roadmap up to season 4, where each season they're going to be introducing new pve thing and i believe in season four they're going to be adding horde which sucks that it, we have to wait for so long but it will be really fun just seeing how far we can stand and fight the tyranids pretty much kind of showcase our builds or our team composition by withstanding the hordes of enemies it'll be pretty cool but the game is still fun i've been enjoying it I just wish there was few better things. Like I said, the soul class, just a little more customization, you know, and stuff like that. But besides that, I've been enjoying the game. It's really fun. And if you're into Space Marines, you definitely should get it. Or if you're into Warhammer 40k, you should definitely think about getting it. Or just get it. You know, it is really fun. But I hope you enjoy this type of video. And if you did, don't forget to stay awesome and leave that subscription. But I hope you enjoyed the background video, uh, background of me playing Operation, you know. But with all that said, like, uh, with all that said, don't forget to stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye bye.